I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to batch and schedule your content on Pinterest. So the way that I work is in batches of 10. So I start out with 10 Pinterest pins. So if I have a look here in my Canva account, I have this folder called Pinterest My Templates, and then I have these batches here. So each one has 10 pins in it, and each one is relevant to different things that I promote. So the first one is digital products, then we have affiliate promotions, we have free resources, uh, I have blogs, and I have YouTube videos. So for this session, I'm going to promote a video on my YouTube channel. So I would click on this lot here, and when it opens up, these are the 10 pins that I'm going to create. Now, they are all very simple, and I have already taken the time to go through, make sure that they are on brand. Uh, things like my website address at the bottom there, my brand colors, everything is there ready to go. I don't have to do any other editing except for the specific video that I'm going to be promoting on YouTube. So that leads me to the video. So I'll come over here. It's going to be this video here that I'm promoting. So I'm going to take that title there, copy it, pop back into my Pinterest pin, and I'm going to paste it right in there. Now, obviously, that's far too big for that, uh, that section there. So I'll have to reduce the font. So let's just take that down until it fits into that space. OK, and let's give it a little bit more room. And because it's quite a long um, title and it's a little bit hard to read, what I might actually do is make it more sort of title case there. I find it a little bit easier to read than all caps. So now what I'll do is I'll copy that and I will pop it into the other pins. So it's all about sort of creating a really simple batching system. Now that one there was actually right aligned. I could probably make that one a little bit bigger there because that really is the focus on the title. This one here. And I just quickly move my way down. Now, obviously, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to make that writing white so that you can read it. I'm going to scoot that in a wee bit. Make that there. I might make it slightly bigger. That looks a bit better. Same here. So let's left align that one. Make it slightly bigger. Bigger like that. So I'm up to seven pins so far. Move those down a wee bit. So depending on uh, the thing that I'm promoting, um, I might add more text to this. So because this is just simple, plus I want to show you how quickly and easily you can really do this, I'm keeping it quite simple. But our whole objective with these pins is obviously to capture attention. So we do want to put some effort into them. This one will need to be a little bit smaller. I'm just going to move that down. So they're not always perfect and that's OK. But basically because we've got the template to work from, um, it does save so much time. And again with this one, I'm probably going to need to make that white background a little bit bigger. Cool. OK. so. Now we have the written part, now we need the visual. So because I create all of my YouTube cover images right in Canva, I'm just going to download it. So this is the cover image I used for the YouTube video. So I'm just going to download this as a PNG file. This one here, so I'll download that. And then I'm going to whip on over to my pins. I'm going to upload that cover image, which will be sitting in my downloads. Then I'm going to pop it into each of the images. So I can just drag and drop that there. Drag and drop. And drop. That doesn't look quite right. Let's just make that a little bit smaller there. 
move that over a wee bit. There we go. This one here. Again, make that a little bit smaller. Oops. So obviously if I wasn't recording a tutorial, I might spend a little bit more time on this. But I just want to keep it really simple. Okay, so with this one here, what I would normally do, because that's a tablet shape, um, is I would take a screenshot off my phone or off my iPad. Um, let's pop that in there and see what it's going to look like. Yeah, see that doesn't really work. So what I'm going to do is just lose that completely and grab this screenshot here, paste it there. Whoops. Make it a little bit smaller and I'll send it to the back. Oh, I might actually move that YouTube button up a wee bit. Cool. Awesome. So let's have a look. What have we got there? So we've got text and everything. We've got my website address. We've got call to action now on YouTube and we've got those screenshots. So that's all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is download that. So I'm going to download all of those images as PNG files. So I'll hit download and what they'll do is they'll go into my downloads, but they're going to be zipped. So before I jump into Pinterest, I'm going to have to unzip that folder there. So let's show in Finder and we'll unzip it. So I just double click. I'm using a Mac so I can unzip that file there. Right now we head over to Pinterest. OK, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create all 10 of those pins and schedule them to be posted. So up here on the left, we're going to click on create and create pin. Now, there's one last step we want to do before we start to upload all of our pins that we created in Canva. We need to rename them. So it's really important to include our keywords in our pin image names. So what I mean by that is when I have a look at the pins that I created, when I downloaded them from Canva, they are called basically one to ten. So that doesn't really give Pinterest much information. So what I'm going to do is do some keyword research. Now I'm not going to go into that in this video, but if you want some tips on how to use uh, how to do keyword research for Pinterest, check out my Pinterest traffic driving bundle. Um, again, the link will be here in the description and that will help you with your keyword research. But I've done my keyword research and I've come up with these three keywords for this particular YouTube video that I am promoting. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use these and I'm going to rename my pins. So I'm just going to rename this image and I'm going to call it Canva Website Design uh, Canva Website Template Canva Template 1. So now I'm going to copy all of that and I'm going to rename each of my pins. So effectively I will have oh, 10 pins which have all the same name using those uh, keywords that I'm targeting but each one will have a different number at the end. So I'll go ahead and do this. OK, so now I have all 10 of my pins all named using those keywords. So now it's time to create our first pin. So I'm going to head back over to Pinterest and I'm going to click and I'm going to upload that pin number one. OK, so now we work our way down the right hand side. The first thing is which board we're going to publish to. So I start with a very generic board and then I end up repinning these pins later to more specific boards. So this one here is basically I think this one is called social media marketing for business. Um, something like that. Yeah, really generic board to start with. Then we need our title, our description, our alt text and our destination link. So titles. This is where ChatGPT comes in. Now, again, if you want this prompt, it's all in my Pinterest uh, marketing guide. So you can go and purchase that from the link. Oh, we'll copy that. We'll head over to ChatGPT. So effectively, what I'm asking is for 10 Pinterest pin titles that are 100 characters long, including spaces, because that's the limit for Pinterest. And we want to include those keywords. We want to um, tell ChatGPT what it is that we're promoting and who we're promoting it to. So then we get these 10 keywords, sorry, 10 titles. Now, the tricky thing here is ChatGPT doesn't always get it right in terms of the word count or the character count. So we just need to check when we copy and paste this into Pinterest, it's going to tell us. Cool, so that's within the character limit. If it was over, it would give us an error message there. So the next thing we're going to do is our description. So 
exactly what I've just done before. We're going to grab our ChatGPT prompt, um, which tells ChatGPT what we're looking for. I'm going to paste this in here, hit enter, and we're going to get 10 descriptions that we're going to use on our pins. Now, at this point, I do recommend that you check over these titles and descriptions. Don't just copy and paste without reading them because there could be things in there that are not quite, um, you know, your language for your business or they might be, um, I don't know, incorrect. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things that can happen with ChatGPT. It is artificially intelligent, you know, powered tool that we use in our businesses, but it's not always perfect. So once we have our descriptions, I've got a couple more here. Again, read them over, make sure you're happy with them. I'm going to grab number one any minute now. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up to number one, read it over, happy with that. I'm going to copy that, pop it into Pinterest, check that word count. Cool, so it's perfect. And then we're going to add our alt text. So the alt text is really important. That's basically for anyone who is using a screen reader or can't actually see your image here. So I'm going to click on alt text and I'm going to literally explain what this pin is. So I'm going to say um, pale blue pin with a laptop and screenshot showing YouTube video Canva tutorial how to edit and publish your Canva website this website with navigation includes uh, Canva logo and social smarty dot co web URL um, and blue wiggly arrow. Cool. Okay. Oh, can't spell navigation. Let's get that right. Awesome. So that is our alt text. And the last thing we need is our destination link. Absolutely the most important thing here. If someone finds your pin, where are you driving that traffic to? What's that next click? So for me, that is my YouTube video. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on share. I'm going to grab that URL there and I'm going to pop it into my Pinterest pin. Now, this is where I save a little bit of time. So I've done one pin, I've got nine more to go. So rather than starting from scratch, I'm actually going to click on these three dots at the top and I'm going to duplicate it. So what that does is obviously create an exact replica. So there's a few things there um, that we can do, that we can leave. So the alt text is probably only going to need tweaking. We're not going to have to re-paste um, in that destination link. So over here where the image is, I'm going to click on the little rubbish bin. So that's going to clear out the image and then I'm going to select the second image there. Okay, so when we look at our alt text, we've got pale blue pin um, with white arch background, background with laptop and screenshot. So everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, it doesn't have a wiggly arrow. It doesn't have the social smarty. So and let's have now on YouTube. Um, with YouTube logo. Cool. So see how quickly that was uh, to change. It was just really, really simple there. So then I'm going to whip back over to ChatGPT. I'm going to scroll up and grab that second headline. I'm going to paste that over the top of this one. So I'm going to get rid of that, paste it in there. And then next down, we're going to get our second, so number two description. Again, read it over, make sure you're happy with it. Copy that, head over to Pinterest and paste it in there. So then we repeat the process. So we're going to duplicate this. We're going to delete the image. I'll make sure I'm on the right one. Delete the image. Upload image number three. Again, check our um, alt text. So it's pretty much the same. We don't have the Canva logo. And oh, sorry, we do have the Canva logo. We don't have the YouTube logo. Now on YouTube. Cool, back to ChatGPT, grab title number three, pop that in, oops, and then 
description number three. And I just make sure I don't get those little quotation marks at the start and the end. They set into there. Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these pins and then I'll show you what our next step is. Right, I have all 10 of my pins ready to go. I have 10 different images, 10 different titles that are optimized for keywords, 10 different descriptions, my alt text. I have my link, so they're all going through to that YouTube video. You can see on the left hand side here, we've got all 10 pins sitting there ready to go. Now, the first one here, I'm going to publish immediately because it's time to publish something. Then as I scroll down, you can see here we've got publish at a later date. So all I'm going to do is choose for this one will be tomorrow. Scroll down, publish at a later date, the next day. I don't worry about the time because Pinterest is not like a normal social media platform. It really doesn't matter, you know, particularly when you post. It's not like you want to get that pin out in people's feeds when they're active online like we do over on Facebook or Instagram. So it's just one less job for me is changing that time. So I'll just leave it what it's set at. So 1st of May, 2nd of May, 3rd of May, we're almost there. This one here, 4th of May, and lastly the 5th of May. Cool, awesome. So all of those are ready to go. I'm going to head back to the top. I'm going to start here and I'm just going to click on publish. Now it does take a little bit of time for that to either publish or to be scheduled, um, but you can click on multiple um, at once. Oh, there we go there. So you can see now it's saying that one has just been published. And when this one is processed, it's going to say that it is scheduled. So any minute now it's going to pop up and give us an indication. There we go. So this pin will be published on Thursday, the 27th of April. We can also see on the left hand side, it sort of disappeared from our list there. So I'm going to hit publish. I'm going to scroll down a bit to that one. That one. That one. And we're almost there. And you'll see them on the left just slowly disappearing as they are scheduled. Oh, cool, almost there. And that is all 10 pins published or scheduled. So to see your scheduled pins, what you'll need to do is just pop over to your account. Now it does take some time for this to pop up. So don't stress if you go and have a look and they're not showing there. But you're going to click on your profile. And right at the top above created, you can see all of the pins that I have scheduled to go out. So if you did need to edit one or delete one or delete a bunch, um, that's where you would do it there. So let me know if you have any questions, but that Pinterest traffic driving bundle that I keep referring to in the um, description here, the link is there. It is really helpful. It will walk you through this process, including that keyword research. It'll give you all your 145 editable Canva templates for your Pinterest pins um, and those step-by-step -step instructions.